Hello, my name is Daniel Schneider and I work for Concilio. I'm a director in their enterprise legal services group. Um, I've been a, sort of involved in legal technology world for the better part of 15 years now. I am an attorney, um, though I would consider myself sort of uh, a technology evangelist first. What kind of impact um, do I think, we think, do lawyers think AI will have in the legal world? Um, and I'd argue that AI has had, or at least you know, sort of technology assisting humans has had a pretty substantial impact in the legal world for a long time. I think the main point of these technologies, or the main points is to gain efficiency, cost savings, margin growth. Um, and I think really the most important thing with all of those is to save the most nuanced, the most sophisticated work for the humans. Developing the relationships, participating in negotiations, compromises, the real nuances of the practice of law. This the software is not designed to put anyone out of a job whatsoever. What the software is designed to do is get you the same information that you may have gotten before, cheaper, faster, and even potentially in a much more neat, tidy, and organized fashion. I feel like almost every time new technology is introduced from typewriter to word processing machine, um, there's had there's had to be some convincing of the traditional practitioner. Um, I think there's a lot of room to grow here. Um, I don't think it's highly, um, I don't think it's highly accepted or incorporated yet by by much of the legal world. Um, but imagine all the things that you do um, just to get a document built. Um, that could be done by a machine if they had access to all your historical data, your historical complaints, your historical answers, your historical responses, um, so that it was using all the information that you have in your brain, stored on your servers, on your, on your machines, to do the sort of first pass, if you will, draft, response, you name it. If everyone's spending all of their, you know, 90% of their good daylight hours doing the more rote, the more mundane work, they might not have quite as much brain power left for the most important work at the end of the day. And I think that's what we're really trying to do.